So uh, today is another day of hike. Uh, it's January 5th, 2019. It's a Saturday. Very pleasant day for the winter. In the mid of winter, we don't get to see a 40s Fahrenheit temperature here. It's a very good time. So today I plan, plan to hike with a group of people at uh, Brexville Reservation. So there is a couple of trails here. So we hiked for around two to three hours. Uh, the mileage was six miles, six miles of hiking in the woods. Very nice, very well maintained uh, trails. I enjoyed it. Ah, so nice, so serene to be in outdoors. So I got my new hiking boots. These are the Obos ones. Trying it for the first time. They're good, good traction, feels good. So I'm hiking a little bit in the woods now. Somebody have made a good pavement here for people to move around. I'm about to take a run now. Big fat squirrel there, trying to find its food in the winter. Hope he gets something to eat, or else he'll become the food for something. Oh, see? There's so many squirrels, big fat squirrels. Okay, go on. So I'm moving down the hike, almost at the end of the hike now. Uh, I'm near to a creek there. People also call it creek. In the United States, slang is different. So, let's see. So that's where the creek is. This is the creek, it's Wallin Creek. The, the sound of this creek that's flowing itself is so beautiful. I will probably just camp here all day and sit around this place. It's so beautiful. It's a small creek, not much of a flow. But the sound is so good. I'm in love with this. Nature's music. Fun. Pretty much at the end of the hike now here. So I'm going to head towards the reservation camp they have here. So the beauty or like the historic fact about the Brixville historic trail is uh, these were the original three trails that were built in Ohio. So they have made some kind of a hut here. This was built in somewhere in 1930s. So there were three of them of historic significance. I inquired with the ranger here, they told two of them out of three got burnt in uh, forest fire, so they don't, don't, they don't exist anymore. So I'll take a quick peek at the historic center there and head down to my car and that's going to be the end of this six mile hike today. So that's the historic hut I'll basically say. Structurally, they have maintained it, what it used to be there in 1930s. They also have a small bird feeding station. Yeah, they have named some redwood trees, poison ivies, some stuff. It's not, it I can't see them, it's winter, so nothing's there. So, this is what it is Brixville Nature Center. I am inside the nature center now, just came to give a quick look, very well maintained. These are the historic pillars that were originally there in 1930s, little bit renovated though. I, I liked it, little bit to learn there though. 
these are the original replication of the leaves found around here and these are some bombs collected at the railway center and most of the My hike is done. Rating wise, I'll rate it as five. Beautiful place. I really enjoyed. Location, I think it's 30 miles down from Cleveland, Ohio. 30 miles south from Cleveland, Ohio. In the Brixville Reservation, I also came across this shelter house built in 1930s again. So there's a big stone, not sure what it is. Returning to my car, so that's the end of the trail today. Six miles, good speed. So that's what it is. See ya, bye bye.